My dignity is not for sale. I scream to be heard, to say no, and to say stop. Social media and cyberspace have become both a boon and a baby. On one hand, we can send a message in a split seconds to loved ones thousands of miles away. On the other hand, online space has also been abused and one alarming instance is the proliferation of online sexual exploitation of children. And according to attorney Alberto M, online sexual abuse and exploitation of the children is a silent pandemic that has a permanent and devastating effects on children's mental health and psychosocial well-being. Good day everyone, I am Jonas Mark Ilomino and we're here to present to you our conducted activity decision The Online Sexual Abuse and Exploitation of Children with the theme My Dignity is Not For Sale I scream to be here, to say no, and to say stop In this presentation, we are going to tackle how we conducted our successful session and doing the social group work activity in how we strategize our planning down to evaluation and recommendation. Planning strategy is important to control the many moving parts within the conduct of an event or activity. Without a strategy, things can get messed or you can easily lose control of timing, budgets or resources, and even the flow of your event or activity. So, before we share to you the outcome of activity session, let us first share to you our steps for a successful activity session. First, we set the activity goal. Since our topic is online sexual abuse and exploitation to children, the first idea to come out in our minds is that we need to educate people is physically the children. And so the group agreed to have a mini symposium on the assigned topic. After that, we use the SWOT analysis in identifying our strengths, weaknesses, the opportunities, and the possible threats for us to be prepared in conducting the activity session. Secondly, we assign responsibilities. Each member has role to play in the group, and most especially to the planned activity. This is important so that the needs for this activity session will be addressed easily if there is someone who is tasked to look out for that responsibility. The next thing that we did is we set a timeline from general meeting of the team, the dissemination of letters, the buying and the preparing the materials for the activity. And the rehearsal and the final conduction of the activity session have fixed schedules. Scheduling provides the backbone of your planned activity. Without it, you won't know when tasks need to be complete, how far ahead or behind you are, or be able to manage the multitude of tasks necessary for planning an event. Next is we draw up a budget. It is quite impossible to have this kind of activity without having resources and financial are included to this. Since we are still studying, we find resources that our budget is friendly and can be really contribute to our activity. The cost of prizes, the souvenirs, and the tokens were estimated in advance. Then we decided to set a weekly due to gradually save the money until we reach the estimated amount for the resources needed. Above all, most importantly, is the dedication of the team. Planning is useless when the members of the group are not dedicated in doing the activity. A good energy or synergy between all of these strategies will ensure the success of your event or activity. Moving on to topic description. Online sexual abuse and exploitation of children include the use of information and communication technologies to sexually abuse or sexually exploit children. The United Nations Economic and Social Commission for Asia and the Pacific defines child sexual abuse as contacts or interaction between a child or an older or more knowledgeable child or adult such as stranger, sibling, or person in a position of authority such as a parent or a caretaker. When a child is being used as an object for the older child's or adult sexual needs, child sexual exploitation is defined as child sexual abuse or other sexualized activities performed on children in return for anything of value like affection, food, drugs, and shelter. 
Thus, the purpose of our activity session is to provide knowledge and awareness about online sexual abuse and exploitation of children or also known as OSAI. Our mini symposium was only held with one section of written students from Father Oryu's College of Bayugan Incorporated in Bayugan City. The goal of this session is to prevent and eliminate the victims of online sexual abuse and exploitation of children, as well as reduce the numbers of youth who may become as oppressors. On the other hand, in our activity materials, first, our participants is the greeting students from Father Saturnino Orius College of Bayugan Incorporated, which is one section that consists of 30 students. And our duration is two hours of activity session. Our venue is one classroom of Father Saturnino Orius Bayugan Incorporated in Bayugan City. And our material use is in implementation of the mini symposium is the letter of intent for the chosen participants or area. In proper discussions are laptop, speakers, TV, visual aids, and pamphlets. However, in our icebreakers, our conducted activities are papers, neon papers, and pens, and ball pens. And lastly, in our prizes are food, our school materials. And our mood of activity is face-to-face -face and it is an interactive activity session. Now, our learning objectives is that the facilitators aim, first, participants should be educated on the notion of online sexual abuse and exploitation of children, or OSAI. Second, is raising an awareness about the unlawful activities associated with online sexual abuse and child exploitation. And lastly, is to provide ways of avoiding engagement in online sexual abuse and child exploitation. Now, here are where some techniques in our presentation. So first, we, the facilitators, provided a clear visual aid for the participants to easily understand and follow the key points to be discussed. Also, we facilitators, we use vernacular language where participants could understand and communicate comfortably with us. And also, we ask clarification, especially every after discussing a topic, to assess their level of understanding and to identify if they had followed or understand our discussion. And lastly, our, in our series of icebreakers, it is been prepared in case the class may get bored. These activities will help the facilitators to keep in touch with our participants. And now, let's proceed to our contents or our proper discussion. We, the facilitators, had different rules during the mini symposium. There was only one official host for the entire session and assisted by any of the available members if needed. So, our first speaker talked about the background and information of online sexual abuse and exploitation of children. Just like what is child exploitation, what is online sexual abuse, and how does OSAIC happen. So basically, our first stop is we introduce what is child sexual abuse and exploitation of children. And it's followed by the second speaker, which she discussed the raising of awareness about the illegal transaction related to online sexual abuse and exploitation of children, which is we presented various forms of OSAI, just like sex texting, online grooming for sexual purposes, sexual sextortion, and live online sexual abuse. Also, in this part, we present or we um, presented uh, some videos or examples just to aware them what is online sexual abuse and exploitation of children. After the two discussion of two speakers, we conducted a game called Tableau. Tableau is a game that we needed three groups and the scenarios we create is that connected to the topic of our third speaker. And thankfully, our participants are participated and they are also enjoyed by our game. Then, 
through these activities, we the facilitators want to empower the youth to curb and the rise of online sexual abuse and exploitation of children and be more attentive to their surroundings and try to teach them that prevention starts in the community and with an empowered young leader ensuring the children's safety. In our last part of discussion, this time the speaker discussed the ways on how to avoid getting involved on online sexual abuse and exploitation of children. So we discuss and present them the impact of online sexual abuse as well as the internet safety tips for children by advising them and showing them a video presentation of our evaluation of our activity session. We the facilitators prepared three different colors of cards for the first phase of the evaluation, which is the yellow, green, and orange cards. One of the facilitators described what each color of card should be used for. The three sorts of cards are intended to assess the learner's grasp of the material covered by the three presenters. The first yellow card represents the appraisal of what the attendees learned throughout the first breaker presentation. The second is the green card, which symbolizes the participants' grasp of the material of the second speaker's presentation. And the last is the third card, which is the orange card, which symbolizes the participants' perspective on the third speaker explanation of strategies to avoid being engaged with online sexual abuse of exploitation of children. And in our conducting of activity session, we face a lot of hardships and problems encountered. Our problems we encountered during conducting our session is first our, our planned school, which is in the Bayugan National Comprehensive High School, has changed to Father Saturnino Arius College of Bayugan Incorporated because the first school we choose is not available due to the memorandum that the school implemented for the students, which indicates that there will be no interruption during their finals. Luckily, we negotiated the second option, which is the FSUCBI. Second is the time spent preparing. Even though we set aside an allotted amount of time to spend on preparation, we cannot control our time as students, especially since we also have other activities from other courses. Preparation is really took a lot of time, specifically with the presentation and the materials we needed to use, tons of printed papers to be exact as well as the prices. When we talk about prices, we can expect them to be costly. As a student who is just budgeting their allowance, it is really hard to save up money. That is why we come up with a plan to have a weekly due or a weekly fee. But we have a lot of bills to pay, which is why we don't manage to save up enough money to buy snacks for each of the participants to be exact. And lastly, during that moment of our conducting, we also encountered a lot of difficulties, like technical difficulties. Even though we have enough resources for that, we cannot predict what it will happen. Yet, we managed to resolve it and continue our session on time. In terms of time, our session duration is only two hours. And since we respect their class hours after our session, we really aim to execute what we have prepared and planned in two hours, which is quite challenging. Yet, we resolve and manage it. In many circumstances we encountered during this session, we are proud that we overcame them and resolved them as a group. Thus, in conducting activity session, we the facilitator recommended to set a backup plan, especially on technical. You might know if there will be difficulties. You can have written visual aids or have a chargeable microphones or lapel. Second is diversity is so much important. This is true of both the nature of the session that you put on and the people who speak at them. If you want a diverse audience to engage with your sessions, then the speakers should reflect the audience in their composition. And also make a special effort with the first time attendees. A facilitator must make a sense to acknowledge that these participants are attending for the first time, making sure that this activity session will give them a benefit and allow them to attend of more of this symposium. Overall, in conclusion, as a group of first timers of conducting a session is quite challenging 
especially because it has a serious topic. Being a facilitator took a lot of work and preparation, especially preparing yourself to face and teach the participants, which is one of the key points we needed to educate them properly. Educating others requires educating yourself first to ensure that you know what you are discussing with everyone for them to receive the knowledge and awareness clearly. During the moment, we come up the realization that as a facilitator, you need to possess the communication skills that are very relevant in getting along with the participants on how to please them and how to make them listen to you, especially when handling the children. Conducting a session really requires time management to make it start at a planned time at the end of estimated time. Thus, this activity serves as a great learning for us as aspiring social workers, and I hope in the near future we can do it much better than we do it right now. It serves as a lesson for us on what we needed to do and how to prepare, and also how to become a good and effective facilitator. And now, this time, let's look up and let's take a look on how we conduct our activity session about online sexual abuse and exploitation of children. So guys, please watch this. Don't say stop. Yeah. 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 Yeah.